What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at so. I didn't have the store. You're not here to meet a 13 year old boy, are you? No. Yes. Come on, man. We got your picture. Nope. We got everything about you. Say what? We, I got everything about you. Yeah. What you mean? Text messages, man. You say you want to meet a 13 year old here. Come on. I ain't got no messages. No, but we do. Don't sit here and lie to me, bro. I'm not some mama catfish, man. I no picture. Huh? I'm mama catfish. Off what? Off a uh, grinder? No. Yeah. I don't have no help on my phone. You might have just deleted that. No, I didn't delete nothing. Yeah, you did, bro. I, that's, that's you, bro. That's you, right there. No, I don't have no no apps. That's hey, you. Man, watch your balls and dick good. You oh, wanted to? Well. Yeah, man. That's no, you, bro. That's you. They catfish on them apps. I don't have no apps. They, they're, so they're catfishing as you. I, no, who? As no, you. Maybe catfish. I don't know. We I'm see, not even from here, bro. We seen your whole ass. Your whole. You're from Fife, aren't you? No, I'm. You a just Cuba. came from Fife. I'm a Cuba. You ain't from Cuba. Well, you just came here, so you got that Coke right there after I just asked you to give me a Coke, right? Say what? I just asked you to give me a Coke after you just got one. Dang. What do you got to do with anything? I can't drink a drink. Huh? I can't drink a drink. You can sit here and try to play oblivious, bro. We know. You came here to meet a 13-year-old. 13-year-old, bro. I don't know what y'all talking about. You, why are you lying? Why are you shaking like a leaf? I'm not shaking. I just seen your hands. Because y'all pull up on this me. This is the book of Colossians. Chapter 3, verse 5 in the GNT. You must put to death, then, the earthly desires at work in you, such as sexual immorality, indecency, lust, evil passions, and greed. For greed is a form of idolatry. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Colossians chapter 3, verse 5 in the Good News Translation. You must put to death then the earthly desires at work in you, such as sexual immorality, indecency, lust, evil passions, and greed. For greed is a form of idolatry. And again, this is another video to show you that uh, two-thirds of our people have gotten the spirit, the mindset of these uh, heathen, man, especially these Edomites, man, you know, chasing after that boy pussy, man. Okay, yes, you heard me. Chasing after that boy pussy, that BBP. Okay, okay, our people literally have cleaved on to the customs of the heathen, man. Okay, because it's 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 uh it's evil sexual immorality, man. It's indecent, man. Okay, it's evil, an evil uh passion that they have, man. It's an abomination in the sight of your high by Shem Yahweh Shah. But again, you see our people, uh, you know. Elevating off of the customs of the heathen and especially the Edomites, man. Okay? And you see that they'll blast, they'll put Jake on blast for doing this wickedness. But when it comes to their own nation, they hide it. Okay? And this is uh, 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 the, the slander of thy brother, man. Okay? Esau, you know, he's, he's pushed something. He's about it. He does this. He does that. But as soon as he gets you Israelites involved, he shows forth that you're the problem. You're the issue, man. Okay? This man is, is a devil, man. Okay, but let's continue. Let's go to the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 15, verse 6 in the KJV. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth because, look, the wicked is in control. Okay, the, the, the one that was birthed and born and predestinated to be the wicked uh, has polluted the whole earth with their philosophies, their ways, their customs. Okay, they have uh, enlightened all these other nations that this is okay to be this way. This is okay to do that. This is okay to you know uh, uh, not show no consideration, no compassion, no uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, consideration uh, and a uh, uh, peace towards one another, man. Okay. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And again, this right here is a wicked, abominable, filthy act. Now, you know, regardless, regardless of it being a Jake, a Hamite, a Ishmaelite, 
Moabite, Ammonite, Edomite, whatever, man. You, de you deserve to get put to death, point blank, period. Okay, there's no cut cards when it comes to this truth, man. Okay? But the whole world right now is lying in wickedness, man. And, you know, us, we have been reborn, retaught, ref or refueled, okay? That, that nonsense that we had has been emptied out. And we're being recharged and refueled with that true understanding, that true living waters, man. Let's jump here real quick. Let's go to the book of 1 John chapter 5. And this is pretty much going to be a quick hit. I don't want to rock this out. So this is the book of 1 John chapter 5. To back up what I just said, starting off at verse 18. We know that whoever is born of the Most High sinneth not. Now, again, like I just stated, we're, we're being reborn, retaught, okay, Re, uh, re-nourished, okay? And we cannot say that we don't transgress, we don't sin, we, but we can say that we attempt as much as possible lie in us to offend less because we are in these prisons, okay? When, when I say these prisons, these weak, corruptible bodies, these bodies that, you know, can get diseases, they get sick, they get weary, they get weak, okay? So we can't say that we don't transgress. We attempt to offend less, but we acknowledge and we learn from it, okay? As it says in Proverbs 24, verse 16, a just man falls seven times, but he get back up, okay? And that also goes into examining yourself, okay? Uh, working on your, def uh, your defective components and then applying them and progressing and increasing in this truth and hoping, I don't want to write this out, that you're pleasing the Lord in doing so. We know that who, whosoever is born of the Most High sinneth not, but he that is begotten of the Most High keepeth himself. And that's us, man. I don't want to write this out because we keep, you know, Lord willing, on that, uh, on that uh, hamster wheel or that treadmill, you know, chasing after the Lord. And, you know, it comes to a certain point. You know, we, we want to cleave on to him and never let go. Okay, and Adawan Rathazai, that's us, that's, that's being kept by Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that wicked one touches him not. And 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 Lord, Lord willing, that's us because, you know, we pray. We understand that we're going to be tried by the devil more than any other. Okay, because the wicked is going to be wicked. But the ones that seek after Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai are going to be, uh, are going to be tried left and right. Okay, as it says in uh, Sirach 2, verse 1, If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right? So we're, and every time we're being tried, we're being purified. Every time we go through something, we're being cleansed. All right? Verse 19. And we know that we are of the Most High. We know that we are of the Most High, man, because we despise what the Most High despise. We have to have an agreement, a, 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 a like mindset with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And that it's like, and we, and we know that we are of the most high and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And this is a prime example of the world lying, lying in wickedness, man. Okay. For a damn grown ass man. And as y'all heard, he said he's from Cuba. So this is Manessa. To go link up or try to link up with a 13 year old boy. May Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechach Radash, Put your stinking, nasty, filthy, abominable ass to death. Jail is jail is a, 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 a lab. That's a joke. That's a fucking joke. You need to hey, look, man. People like this are going to be put to death. Okay? And and and, and, and you niggas, fake thugs, drug dealers, okay, prostitutes, okay, uh boss bad bitches. Uh you know, man, look, man. It's it's, it's long overdue, man. Let's jump here real quick. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. So lock you. Isaiah chapter one. I'm going to start off at verse four and off at verse five. Ah, sinful nation. That's how the most high is saying it. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. So do you not think this is not making the most high to see his people to indulge and really be a part of bullshit like this? 
Again, as the Lord said in the, in, the, in the beginning of the precept, ah, a sinful nation. And that's what our people are, a sinful nation, a, 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 a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers. This is evil, man. All these women, women outnumber us, what, seven to 14 or something like that to one? Either seven or 10 or 14 to one, man. And you mean to tell me you can't go find you a, a lady, a nice lady, a nice young lady to, you know, build with? Man, we need we need your Bashim, your Shai 500 years ago, man. Okay, our people are corrupted, man. And the more they do, the more they provoke Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai to anger, to judge their stinking asses, man. Verse 5, why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye have revolted more and more. The whole head is sick. The whole heart is faint. These, this nigga is sick. And the only way to medicate this fool is death. That's, that's, that's your medication for the two-thirds is death. The other, med the other med medication is what we have out of one right desire, and we stay in it until the end. Okay, but there's only two types of medication. Either the Lord wake you up, breathe that life back into you, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and keep you in this truth. Okay, because you know some have some have been brought into the truth and pushed back out into the world. And the other concept is just death, judgment, destruction, your demise. That's it, man. Okay, but this dude right here is his whole head is sick, his heart is his heart is faint to literally to literally think that what you're doing is A-OK, -okay. there's nothing wrong with that, man. That just shows you the, the mindset of our people and how they have uh, uh, cleaved and, and, and took the customs of the heathen and ran with it, man. Okay? My point's made. Let me get one more preset and we'll close it out. I'm going to go to the Good News Translation. I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians because, you know, this is disgusting, man. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to read verse, I'm gonna read verse nine. Surely, you know that the wicked will not possess the most high's kingdom. Do not fool yourselves. People who are immoral or who worship idols or adulterers or homosexual perverts. Do you hear that? Or homosexual perverts. Hey, man. And as I, as I just kept on stating, the only way. For you to be cleansed and be purified is through death, man. And then you'll come back in the kingdom through somebody else's loins and you'll be back in your right mind. You'll know the Lord. You won't transgress. You won't be out here looking for boy pussy, man. Okay? You'll be out here doing what the Lord told you to do, man. Okay? Matter of fact, we'll close out here. You'll be out here doing this in the kingdom. This is what we're going to be doing in the kingdom. What we couldn't do in other captivities, but we will be doing this 144% in the kingdom. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, starting off at verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and all nations, and especially, especially you Israelites, Judah on down to Issachar, we're going to fear Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and keep his commandments. We're going to keep every single commandment to a T crisp okay for this is the whole duty of man that's our vocation okay that's our task okay the lord chose us to be his uh keepers of the earth his watchmen his seers okay verse 14 for the most high shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing whether it be good or whether it be evil and right here this is evil Okay, and this second part right here, verse 14, won't apply to us because we'll keep every law to a T. We won't need to be judged. But right now, we, our people are being judged because their works are what? Evil. So I don't want to rock this out. I hope and I pray that this is edifying, uplifting, and informative to the true sincere. Akim wa akwaf. So with that, I'm just going to say, call her layam la. Abanawa Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash. Watha Wada Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash for putting the spirit on me, my elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down. 
<coughs> for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you, and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. Adawan Ratazah until the next one. So with that, I'm just going to say Shalom. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at the store. Look at the You're not here to meet 13 year old boy, are you? No. Yes. Come on, man. We got your picture. Nope. We got everything about you. Say what? We, I got everything about you. Yeah. What you mean? Text messages, man. You say you want to meet a 13 year old here. Come on. I ain't got no messages. No, but we do.